He was not able to be with her when their daughter died. He works in Peshawar because there's little work for a baker in the remote mountains of Afghanistan. Since their marriage, he spent most of his time away from home and sends money back to his family. We cannot read newspapers or magazines. We only think to work, to make money, to buy bread. We have never seen this picture. Back in Washington, the FBI has offered to lend their expertise. Forensic examiner Tom Mushino usually spends his days identifying criminals from security cameras. Today, he's helping solve a 17-year-old mystery. In this case, I look at things like shape of the eyes um, and any specific identifying characteristics like uh, mole patterns or scars, uh, chip teeth, ear patterns. It doesn't take long for Mushino to find a problem. Well, one of the first things I noticed was indeed the mole on the upper, uh, just above the, uh, the right side of the, the upper lip, um, what appears to be a mole. Um, and it's not consistent with uh, the woman, uh, the, the older woman, the image taken just recently. Moles actually, a uh, very small percentage, less than 1% of the moles uh, will disappear. Um, normally they just stay in the same place, possibly get larger. Back at Iridian Technologies, they are also working with photographs of Charbot. Yeah, I'd be skeptical. If this is the same eye, mm -hmm. then clearly some things that were not in here have appeared mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Full of doubt, it all comes down to the eyes. Let's make a new image. Will they be able to identify one woman among millions? Some of the matches are as good as we see in daily operation with our imagers. What the computer reveals is astonishing. We can say that we're confident that it's the same person with a probability on the order of one in a hundred million or so that we're wrong. So we feel pretty confident. And the FBI has new evidence a never-before-published photograph of the original Afghan girl. And if you look very closely, there is no mole to be found above her lip. And being a person in a refugee camp, um, it's quite possible it's dirt. Well, the conclusion, just considering all of the consistencies, and there are so many of them, um, and considering that the inconsistencies are explainable, is that it's the same woman, it's the same person. When Steve hears the results, he rushes back to Pakistan and goes directly to Rahimullah's house. I got very excited when I heard that she has been, had been located, and in fact, that she had come to Peshawar and was uh, ready to meet me. Sharbat is waiting in the next room. Steve will see for himself if the child he photographed 17 years ago is Sharbat Gula now a woman with a family of her own. She says I can remember it. Oh, is that right? Yeah? I'm yes. kidding. It's a long time ago. <laughs> I, I knew that her life was very difficult just by looking at her face at that time, but I, I'm very sad to hear that uh, uh, she lost both of her parents in the, uh, during the war. That, that's something I'm very sad. And that's uh, okay. okay. Uh, what's, uh, what's her name? Alia. Alia. I see. Alia is one years old. All oh, right. The other one is uh, inside, uh -huh. Zahida. Okay. Three mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And the eldest, 14 years old, is Robina. All oh, right. Okay. She is in Afghanistan. It's extraordinary to see her and to see those eyes again. I think she looks great after 17 years living in Afghanistan, living in refugee camps. Her eyes are still alert. They're still sort of penetrating as today as they were uh, back then. 
the face that inspired so many to give now has a voice. I'd like the American people to help rebuild Afghanistan. Afghanistan has been so destroyed. The schools, the countryside have been damaged. The whole country is a mess. We need all of the support we can get to rebuild my country. Perhaps Sharbat's story will motivate others to help fulfill a burning desire shared by all refugees for peace and knowledge. I want my kids to go to school so that they receive a proper education. If you are educated, then you can learn any skills. You can make a better life. I gave up my education, but I want my children to go to school. Sharbat Gula slipped into anonymity many years ago. Through her eyes, she's given us a brief glimpse into her life. I believe in the power of spiritualism. We were very persistent, determined, and sincere, and that's why we were able to find her. The fact that we're able to see her at all is sort of a miracle, because in this culture, this Pashtun culture, they're covered up. So the fact that she's lifted up her, her burqa and revealed her face to, to the world, essentially, is uh, sort of a minor miracle. Her eyes have not changed. A difficult history is now etched in her face, but hope remains constant. I think if God is willing, I will stay alive. Only God decides on which day and at which moment I will die.